Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Samster. Um, I put out a new instrumental. Well, I didn't put it out yet. It's actually about the hit I like when I get to it. Uh, I've been so wrapped up in party rockers and doing uh, AWX music videos. I'm pretty much gonna be done with AWX for a little while. I'm gonna take a little break on that, mostly because the next big thing I wanted to do was find the 2004 videos. But which you guys probably like what the hell is AWX and all this shit. Anyway, um, I made a new instrumental. It's not a rap beat. You know, I bet all you guys are probably turning it off right now, but it's something I kind of made with the intention of using when me and Joey Beans work together. Um, so far, the uh, project name is called Two Party Two or some shit like that. We were, we were trying to come up with a group name. Uh, it would be the number two, and then it would be party, and then it would be T O O. That was just an idea that I had. Um, speaking of AWX, I actually put out two new theme songs. I put on the Strone Van Hoogen Doggen theme. Okay, it's not that's not what it's titled, but that's his full name. It's the Strone theme. And then uh, Tommy Gunn finally got his theme. Um, yeah. But his new song, I didn't really title it yet. Here we go. Some crazy techno shit. You guys hear the whole thing because I've been putting out nothing for you guys. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. This is nothing yet. Just listen. It's about to get insane. It's about to get crazy. On Facebook, I want you guys to listen. It's about to get real crazy. <laughs> Pretty ball shit. Um, that's the latest thing I I made. I mean, I I, I did make the two other theme songs. Um, let me just see if there's anything else you guys are missing out on. Um, oh, for those of you who've seen uh, Party Rockers, I actually released this for the. It's at the very end. It's something I made out of boredom. It's called Robot Saga. Robot Saga. I don't, I don't know about this one, I was just made out of boredom.
And then uh, a song I had to take down. Um, all right. Well, I guess you can say it. to anybody who heard that, it was just anger in the moment. Don't if you if those who okay, it was obviously intended that, that song that was coming out the necro beat. That song, um, the song that I took down. Uh, for those of you who heard it, even to the people it was intended to. It was just in the heat of anger, and that's pretty much it. If you heard any of the crazy lyrics I said in it, don't take it seriously. I'm not going to do any of those things I said. I'm not saying I'm afraid or nothing. I'm just saying I just don't want any problems. Whatever happened, happened. Okay, let's leave it at that. I'm not talking shit. I'm not whatever. I'm not bringing you guys up no more. It's, you know, whatever. Um... Also, if you guys back on the topic of songs, um, you remember "Beat Without Bass," the freestyle I did because I really liked that Lil Wayne song. And at the time, uh, for some reason, I was really into the instrumental and shit. I did a re-edit of it because I didn't like the way my my vocals were because it sounded too like weird, and a lot of people hated that. So I toned down the effect, and I it sounds a little better. Here, I'll show you a preview. Yeah, I didn't really record it, but yeah. I took off the. I lowered the effect. Sounds way better. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, with some beat without bass, it's like Christians at dinner not saying grace. And Sam Sir coming to the kitchen in the face and they'll put your bitch in your place. And now for a change of pace. Some honestly, honestly, I want to say this right now. Some of my older songs, I feel like I was good lyrically, but my delivery on my vocals and the, you know how I'd rap. Sometimes I'd be like, I'm gonna throw you in the trash can. Like if you listen to my really old songs, my flow was garbage. You could pick out a couple lyrics if you listen to it word for word. Some of the stuff I say is cool, funny, whatever you want to call it. But my my delivery on it was trash. <laughs> you know, if you listen to my newer stuff, I'm more serious and I made sure I had energy. I'm not going to lie, there were a couple songs that I made myself stay up late so everyone went to sleep and then I'll come up and be like, alright, I'm going to do this song I wrote today. Uh... <laughs> I'll do it like to fucking two in the morning, no sleep, tired, be like, alright, I'm gonna rap, yeah, I'm gonna do a vocal intro in every song, Just, I'm trying to chill out with that as well, it's a bad habit, <laughs> um, we also got some instrumentals gonna throw out for you guys, I feel like hooking you guys up, because I haven't put nothing on this channel in a minute, because I've been so wrapped up with, uh, party rockers, but speaking of party rockers, Go check out episode 4, it's up right now, and episode 5 is being filmed tomorrow, it's going to be an all-bar episode. Uh, let's see what else. Remember this? The instrumental. I'm sick. That was one of my first songs. And my first instrumental I ever made. Not bad for a first one. I like this one, it's cool. 2008. Finally got the instrument. I actually like the way this song came out.
Something different. I think originally this might have been like a stoner song I was gonna do, and then I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Remember this? It's so hard. It's one of my most viewed songs on YouTube. Thank you. It's because Sylvester Stallone is in it. <laughs> That's pretty much why. And the instrumental doesn't have Stallone in it at all. Took that out in case people didn't want to use that. They wanted to use the beat or whatever. This part's about to come up. See right here, you'd be seeing this quote from Rocky Balboa, which I think came out that year, and then. Sam, sir, about to light one up on your ass. Let's light one up. I'm gonna let you enjoy the instrumental. Nice chill back instrumental. I remember I was actually sitting in my car or my sister's car with Bob. I was no lie, I was sitting with Bob. Me and him, I don't really get to see him much. You know, we don't really. I don't know. We just don't have really kept in touch. I'm broke. I don't have a job, so it's like I can't chill. But. I was in the car with him, and I was, I was showing him this instrumental. I was going, I was like, you know, I think I, I thought about it right then and there. I was like, I think I should go, let's light one up, only five bucks. And I was like thinking of it, and then it just became this phenomenon that one of my biggest songs because everyone was singing that job chord. Let's light one up, only five bucks. I don't care, I just want to get high. I'm gonna make a, this is gonna be the first music video I'm gonna make. Uh, it's gonna be this song, and it's gonna be the MySpace exclusive version, which I changed some of the vocals on all the extra shit. There's some songs made for Joy Beans. This one's called Rise to Fame. I think I showed you guys these songs. Cause we're running low on time. The rest of them you mostly heard. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a happy Thanksgiving.